How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP Wi-Fi battle and today we're going to hopefully be showcasing Girafferig in this new team that I've made. If you want to battle me then join the Discord server in the description and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's find ourselves a game. Okay, I found my opponent, they're called H. And they've got a pretty cool looking team. They've got the Dragonite, the Exploud, Tangrowth, the Gyarados, Honchkrow and a Scizor. Looks like a pretty powerful team. Of course, we've got over here the new team with Shuckle, Garchomp, Girafferig, Tangrowth, Scizor, and an Infernape. Uh, I've got a bit more OU Mons on it than I thought I would uh, need, but Girafferig's a pretty hard Pokemon to pull off, um, to be honest with you. So it's, it's going to be a tough one. Uh, I want to lead off with Shuckle, just to get up the Stealth Rocks and the Sticky Webs. Um, we have got two, well, yeah, two potential Defoggers in Honchkrow and Scizor, most likely Scizor. So we've got to watch out for that. Um, they might actually lead with Scizor because it can just bullet punch my Shuckle to death, but uh, I don't think they will. Maybe, 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 maybe. I'll lead off with my Infinite. And the battle begins. They're going to lead off with the Dragonite, which is fine, as I lead off with my Infinite. Uh, people usually lead off with, Dragon with Dragonite against my Shuckle because they can just Swords Dance on it, but um, not this time, not this time. So let's go ahead and go for a U-turn. They might go for a Dragon Dance anyway. Um, if they do, we can kind of handle it. We've got Tangrowth, we've got stuff like that. So we'll go for a U-turn. We're also breaking the water scale as well, which is great. So get out of there real quick. And if they do go for the Dragon Ants, I'm sure we can handle it. Uh, we are running, after all, a Choice Scarf Garchomp. So we can always handle Dragonite. We can always handle Dragonite. So uh, I'm tempted to go into Garchomp because I was, I'm, I'm expecting an Earthquake. Or a Dragon Dance. So let's go ahead and go into Garchomp straight away. Don't think they're going to just sit there and spam Outrage off the bat. Uh, there's the Dragon Dance. Now, luckily, we are Scarfed, so we do still outspeed it. However, I'm pretty confident that Dragon Claw won't one shot from here. So I'm thinking we can catch this guy off guard with an Outrage. So let's just go straight for it. There we go. We can go for the Outrage. We outsped. Destroy the Dragonite's life, and that is one threat out of the way, so that's perfect. I guess people don't really expect Scarf Chomp as much, um, because it's usually the Swords Dance variant. Usually. Mostly. Um, Alright, he's going to go into Sizzle. Sizzle's probably the best switch in, because obviously it can resist the Outrage, which we are unfortunately locked into for the moment, but it shouldn't be able to one-shot us or anything, so hopefully we can pull off an Outrage, get hit by a U-turn, and be done. Either that or they set up the um, Swords Dance, which I don't think they will do. Counter! Counter Scizor! Okay. Um, that's not good. Please tell me I'm not locked in still. I am locked in still. We got a free turn Outrage on a Counter Scizor. That's not good. Um, I guess Silver Lining here. We've got the Scizor right down in health. Potentially even KOing. I don't know whether Rough Skin will do the job, but... It might do. So he goes for another counter. I've never seen counter scissor before. I didn't even know it got counter. But the rough skin takes it out. So you know what? I think Garchomp did a good job there. We got rid of the scissor. We can now safely go into Shuckle. Set up some stealth rocks. Set up some um, sticky webs. Although sticky webs won't be really the best against this current team. But it's whatever. Let's go into Donut real quick. The Shuckle. Garchomp pulled through for us then. It still took out the Outrage despite it being uh, the Scizor, despite Outrage being resisted. I think it did a good job. Okay, my opponent. Well, now I go into Shuckle. I went first. Does that mean I'm faster? Can't be. Shuckle's not faster than anything. As uh, they go into Gyarados. And we're definitely not faster than a Gyarados. So, you know, let's not worry too much about that. So, um, the predicament we're in now is that the Gyarados is probably going to Dragon Dance as well. Um, that makes me want to go for a, a Toxic, just uh yeah, I'm going to go for a Toxic. Hopefully we don't miss. Yeah, there's the Dragon Dance. Hopefully we don't miss the Toxic. And hopefully they haven't got Lumberry. If they have Lumberry, we're a bit screwed right now. So, yikes. Um, toxic's going to come through, though. Please don't be Lumberry. Or if you are Lumberry... I hope it's not Lumberry. <laughs> it's Lumberry. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, we'll go for another Toxic. We should be able to live a Waterfall. Um... This is going to be one of those Pokemon where we're going to have to work around it and let the Toxic do its thing. Hopefully we don't miss. We don't miss. That's great. I tell you what, on when I was playing on Showdown with this team, Toxic just wouldn't hit. Just wouldn't hit at all. Very frustrating. <laughs> um, we do have a switch in, of course. 
being Tangrove, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Go straight into Tangrove, we can easily sponge a plus one Dragon Dragon and boosted Waterfall. Uh, Tangrove is just a physical beast, physically defensive beast that is. So Waterfall comes through, it's going to do nothing, which is great. And uh, we can actually go for a, um, a Giga Drain real quick, just to help move that poison along a bit quicker into the Gyarados' system. So there's the Toxic taking effect, which is great. And we can just go ahead and go for a Giga Drain for the moment. No point going for knockoff. We've already, he's already used his item. We'll just go for a Giga Drain. There we go. Goes for a Crunch since it's re not resisted. Does a little bit more damage, but it's fine. The combination of Leftovers and Giga Drain is going to completely just wall the crap out of this Gyarados. Tangrowth is such a, a beautiful Pokemon. <laughs> I hate dealing with it. But I like using it. I like using it because it does it does all the right things. It ticks all the right boxes, you know. You got a Garchomp messing with you. Just go into Tangrove. You got a Gyarados Dragon Ensign on you. Just go into Tangrove. It's that easy. Go for a Giga Drain. Goes for a Crunch. It's gonna do same amount of damage as before. No no physical defense drops, which is nice. We can go for another Giga Drain, and Toxic should finish it off this next turn. So that's kind of worked out for us. See, it's not game over when you get a Dragon Dance up. I know that with Flygon. I tried Dragon Dancing to get, you know, a sweep going and I kind of lost it, so that's a shame. But Toxic does take Gyarados down, which is great. Boom. Bye, Gyarados. So now we've got to deal with their Tangrowth. We've got to deal with an Explode, which Choice Specs, if it's Choice Specs, Boom Burst is going to be a bit difficult to get around, but it's fine. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. So I'm thinking we're going to Shuckle. We don't really need Stealth Rocks at this point. There's no point. There's no point, exactly, there's no point. Uh, Sticky Web isn't a big deal either. So let's go into the Shuckle, let it go down to a Boom Burst real quick. There it is. And it's definitely going to take us out because it is... Oh! Shuckle! Remind me to never underestimate you again. Not that it matters because another Boom Burst is probably coming. But we do get the knockoff, which is great. So plus that berry for the win. Let's give her a knockoff real quick, get rid of that item, whatever he's got. Choice Scarf, okay, that's cool. Kind of glad we got rid of that now, because now we're in this situation where we can just go into whatever we want and finish this x cloud off. Um, choice Band Infinite seems like the obvious choice. We've also got the option of a Giraffe Rig, which could work. And we've also got the option of Sizwar, which also could, you know, wall it. Then again, he might have Fire Blaster now that he's not locked in. It seems like a pretty obvious one, but let's go at... Ah. I'm kind of feeling, I'm feeling Giraffe Rig right now. You know, we should outspeed. We've got the shiny. I just kind of want to show it off. Even if it doesn't, you know, do the deed this time. It's fine. Let's go for a Psychic. I, I wish, um, I wish I'd got like Boom Burst or something on Giraffe Rig. To be honest with you, it doesn't really get many good normal time moves. So, Psychic doesn't do the job. It does about half, which is fine. Goes for a Boom Burst. This should KO us. Yeah. So... Drafree got some screen time. <laughs> it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything, which is a shame. But may maybe we'll get him next time. Maybe we'll get him next time. So let's go into Columbus real quick. And Infernape should just finish the job, you know? Should just finish the job. We are choice banded. We can just go for a close combat right now. Completely destroy this x -Cloud. But he's going to go ahead and withdraw into Tangrowth, I'm guessing. There's the Tangrowth. And to be honest with you, I reckon close combat choice banded is going to do a lot of damage to this Tangrowth. So... Let's go ahead and go for a close combat. Boom, 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 boom. Doesn't quite do half, which is a shame, because it means we can't stay in now. Uh, my Tangrowth runs Earthquake, so... I can assume that this Tangrowth will also run Earthquake. But, um, let's see. Let's see what we do here. So, I'm going to have to switch out. I'm going to switch into Scizor real quick. Can fully expect a Sleep Powder, probably, so... That's something to watch out for. Go into Scizor. There we go. Use Stun Spore. I guess if you want to get the Paralysis off, that kind of works. To be fair, I'd rather have this thing. I'd rather not be paralyzed on my Infinite, so I'm glad I didn't stay in there. Because I'd much rather have a, para a sleeping Infinite that will eventually wake up than a paralyzed one, which is permanently slow. So we'll go for a U-turn real quick. And hopefully they switch out. They do switch out. What are they going to go into? x of course, because x will have... Something that can deal with us. We can get the U-turn off, though. And it's probably actually going to KO, yeah. x going to go down, so... That's cool. Now we've just got Tangrowth and the Haunch Crow. 
So let's go ahead and switch out. What are we what are we gonna go into here? What can deal with these two beasts? I think Infinite's probably the best bet, to be honest with you. So we're going to Columbus real quick. As uh, they can just bring in whatever they want. If they bring in the Honchkrow, we should be able to one-shot it with the uh, Flare Blitz. Um, definitely should be able to one-shot it with the Flare Blitz. And if not, we're screwed. It's simple as. Um, right, let's go ahead and go for a Flare Blitz. Let's get it, get it over and done with. Flare Blitz, Choice Banner, definitely going to take out the Honchkrow unless it's physically defensive or something daft. But it's not. Honchkrow goes down, which is great. And I tell you what, I just want to... Showcase, well, I'm, I'm glad we got to showcase this, but Infinite's one of my favorite Pokemon um, out there. And just seeing how good it is in BDSP is just so it's so amazing, to be honest with you. So, uh, Weavile as well. Weavile, my favorite Pokemon. And it's such a beast in this meta game. So, they're going to forfeit, which is cool. And that was the end of the game. So, hopefully, you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you in a bit.